Now let us discuss a new problem in this video. So the problem uh, says something like this. Given an array A of n numbers and another number x, determine whether or not there exist three elements in A whose sum is exactly equivalent to x. Now first let us understand the problem. It is saying given an array A of n numbers. Assuming that we have an array like this and the numbers that are inside this array they are 1, 4, 45, 6, 10 and 8. So this is the array A. And another number x, this number x can be anything. So we have a number x assuming that this number is 13. Now determine whether or not there exist three elements in array whose sum is exactly equivalent to x. So we have to find out whether there are two or three elements inside this array from which I can find this number 13. For example here if I say this is the number 1, we have a number 4 and we have a number 8. So if I add 1 plus 4 plus 8 the sum is going to be 13. So in any given array you have to find whether there exist uh, any number which is x, uh, any three numbers whose sum will be equal to x. Now you can see uh, the solving this problem is very easy but here the expected time complexity that they, they are asking to solve this problem is order of n square. So we are asking order of n square as the time complexity. Now what is what should the input? Input says the first line of the input contains the integer t denoting the number of test cases. So for example here this is denoting the number of test cases, number of test cases. The first line of each test case is n and x where n is the size of the array. For example here you can see this is the size of the array, size of array and this 13 is denoting the number x that you want to obtain and then the second line of each test case contains the number n integer representing the array itself. For example here this is the entire array itself. So we need to find whether in this array there exist three numbers whose sum is equivalent to 13 or not. In the same way here this 5 is representing the size of the array, size of array and this 10 is representing the sum that is required. And what is the output? So output they are asking the print 1 if there exists 3 element. Uh, either you are printing yes or no or you are printing just 1 to say yes there exist 3 numbers and 0 to say no there does not exist any of these 3 numbers. Now before moving ahead to the solution I want you to stop here and try to solve this problem. Make your logic and try to see if you can solve this problem in order of n square as the time complexity. Just pause here and then continue. Okay. Now let me show you the solutions, what are the possible solutions to solve the same problem. The first solution that we are having is the Nave algorithm, that the most basic algorithm which is possible. It says a simple method is to generate all the possible triplets and compare the sum of every triplet with given number. The following code implements uh, the code that we have to write, so we can just cut this portion here. So how this uh, possible, uh, all the possible cases we can get. Assuming that we have an array like this, okay, it may be having some elements and the index locations are 0, 1, 2, 3 up to so on n minus 1. Now what I'm going to write do is I'm going to find combination of every every possible combination in this array. For that I have to write three loops. Number one is for i is equal to 0 to n. That means i will iterate from first number till the last number or you can say n minus 1. Inside this, I'm going to iterate for j is equal to 1 to n minus 1. So j will iterate from here till the last. And then we have to iterate one more uh, variable k from 0 from 2 to n minus 1. That means we are iterating from here to the last. So I'm going to add all these numbers which is ai plus aj plus ak. We are trying to find every possible combination here and then we have to see uh, what is the number that we are going to get. But you have to make sure that the k should uh, at max go to the last location, j should go at max go to the second last location and i should go to that max to the third last location. So this should be, uh, I can say this is n minus 2 and this is n minus 3. So i should run from 0 to n minus 
थ्री जे शुड रन फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन माइनस टू एंड के शुड रन फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन माइनस वन सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू गो टू एवरी पॉसिबल लोकेशन हियर After going to the every possible location, we'll try to find out the sum with every element, and we are going to see whether that sum is equivalent to the number x or not. If that sum is equivalent to the number x, then we will stop and we'll say that number exists. But after the end of this for loop, if uh, we cannot find the number x, then we'll say that number does not exist. So let me show you the simple programming implementation with this. So we have taken a main function here. as you can see which is having the array and these are the dummy elements uh which is having the sum now i'm calling this function with the a array this is the size which is the number n and this is x the sum that we want to find out now you can see here that we have taken uh i j and k we have three variables which is i j and k They are running from array size minus two, array size minus one, and array size, where array size is the total number of elements that we have. So you can clearly see that we are using less than sign, but if we have less than or equal to sign, then this should be array size minus three. This should be array size minus two, and this should be array size minus one. Now, in every case, we are trying to find out all the possible sums, and then we'll print yes, there exists a triplet from here if it is equal to sum. But here the most interesting fact is that this loop is going to run total of n time. Uh, outer loop will run n time. The second loop will run total of n square time because of the outer loop, and the third loop will run total of n cube time. So the time complexity, if you are going to apply this algorithm, the time complexity is going to be order of n cube. This is the one of the easiest problem that we find out. It is order of n cube, and the space complexity is going to be order of uh, one because we are not using any extra space to solve this problem. now just stop here because i have given you a very simple name implementation very simple solution now just stop here and think more about this problem can you solve this problem in order of n time uh, order of n square time and then come back to the next video because in the next video i'm going to show you the solution to uh, solve this problem in order of n square time but here you can see most of you are going to give you this solution give me this solution but this solution is taking order of n cube time okay let's uh, talk uh, discuss about the next solution to the same problem